Hello everyone, welcome back to Life with Aisha. Today we're doing a holiday inspired makeup look, hence what you see right now. So if you're interested to see how I achieved this look, stay tuned for the tutorial. Don't leave, stay here, don't run away. Okay, we're jumping right back into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This has been my favorite palette as of late because there's so many different colors to choose from. So I'm going right now and I'm using the tape that I have right there below my eye to help guide me um, to kind of make it a bit of a cut crease look. But, you know, without actually cutting my crease, I'm just going a bit above my crease area with this pencil brush and... um with this red eyeshadow which is I don't know why it's coming off a bit red orange but it is a true like bright red in person kind of like the color of my backdrop now you can see it's a um vibrancy a little bit more and I'm just going in with this gold um that was basically what this look consisted of just switching between the red and the gold and just building both of those up I did switch brushes just because I just felt like this was blending the gold out a little bit better. The other brush was a little bit stiff to me. Now I'm going in with just a regular fluffy brush here to blend out the edges of that found I mean of that eyeshadow color. Um using the City Mini palette, it was the Shayla Collab, and I'm going in with those two goes because I feel like they gave me a little bit brighter gold that I want with a, a little bit more shimmer. I went into my Juvia's palette to get um just a really like sparkly iridescent color out to use underneath my brow bone. And that's what I'm doing right now, just highlighting that area. Got to keep those lips moisturized. And I am going in with this um, oil is for blemishes because I did have a couple as you can see. But um, after using that for like a couple of days, everything did, you know, smooth and clear on back out. The weather can be so harsh to your skin um, once it gets colder. And I'm using both of my favorite um, foundations of the moment to combine together. And it's the Pro, it's the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Foundation. And it's also the MAC Pro Longwear. Or did I say Pro? It's Pro Glow L'Oreal. <laughs> But I'm combining both of those to give me like a really good coverage. To me, they do really well in this season because one is more dewy and one is more matte. So it keeps me from getting too oily throughout the day. And we're just blending that all together. Making sure everything is, you know, all set on my face so I was going with my beauty blender after I used my brush I'm using this black opal stick it's a foundation stick to contour my face I do want to pick up a darker one because I feel like this one is a bit too light for me um like it doesn't look extremely light on camera but I just want my contour to be a little bit more prominent so because once I blend it in it kind of like just kind of disappears into my skin and I'm using this um Laura Mercier concealer right now. I got that free in one of my Vox boxes like a couple months ago. I actually didn't use that much. Some people OD with the concealer. Um, I actually feel like I may should have used a little bit more, but it was okay for the look I was going for. I wasn't going for like a super beat look because I would have used a bit more concealer on my face. And right now I'm just using my um a different beauty blender to kind of set all of my contour and highlight in. Even though I really typically don't use this brush, but um for some reason I was using a sponge to do this, and I typically um I use a different one. I use my Real Techniques one. But either I couldn't find it at the moment, or I just grabbed the first thing that I saw. Um, Sasha Butter Cut Powder, you know what that's for, just to set my face. I don't really set and bake too much. I just kind of like, you know, I place it where I highlighted it, and then I just kind of go ahead and blend it out. And pretty sure that's what I did here. <laughs> I'm watching just as long as you are. <laughs> going in with my contour kit. I'm going to pick up a different one because I had to use one. 
a different shade because I ran out of my darker contour um powder. So I do need to pick up a different one. I'm thinking I'm going to go the Laura Mercier route, but I'm not really sure yet. Just so I can get more of a darker bronzy look. And now I'm just swiping all of that setting powder away. And just add a little bit more color to my eyes. I'm going um underneath my, well, going in my waterline to add those same colors. And I'm using this Zoom Lashes uh, Mascara by MAC to kind of elongate my lashes before I apply my false lashes on. And if you've been following me from the beginning, you know that la me and lashes don't really get along too well, you know, but... I have gotten a bit better with applying them. I used to do majority of my makeup looks without lashes just because I was like, eh, it's not really my thing. But over time, I have gotten more into lashes. Okay, we have those all the way, well, kind of in. I messed up a little bit there. I think I went back and fixed it, though. Pretty sure I went back and fixed it. <laughs> now I'm just locking in my brows with my... um brow gel just because to me that's an essential step in finishing your brows off the glow kit that is nothing new to this channel because you know we have to have to put a little highlighter on have to glow you know in <laughs> our makeup looks <laughs> so i'm just applying the highlighter to my favorite spots and um now i'm going in with my Two liquid lipsticks. I'm using this red one, which it has more of like a bluish undertone. And I'm using that to kind of line my lips. I just wanted to be a little different today. Normally, I just use one consistent red color, but I was like, you know what? Let's do two different colors today. Why not? And I'm going in with Ariba. Um, I put all the products in my description box per usual, but it's more of a brighter red, and I'm just putting it like... Pretty much everywhere. Now you're going to see me, you know, set my face with this. And I put a little bit too much on. But that's going to bring us to the end of this video. As I'm fanning my setting spray down. Always remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.